Kenya is set to add another technological feather to its cup, this time by playing host to the facility owned by one of the largest companies in the world, Amazon. Amazon plans to set up the Edge location in Nairobi. An Edge location is where end users access services located on Amazon Web Services. The development comes hot on the heels of the president's signature to turning into the law the Data Protection Bill of 2019. The eventual launch of the Amazon Cloud Front is expected to foster accelerated innovation, enabling startups, enterprises, and government agencies to focus on building the better user experience. Amazon Web Services will provide training in digital skills and help in creation of quality jobs for Kenya's youth. The move by the National Assembly to scrap the age limit rule on accessing pension services is yet another signal of the wars the Retirement Benefits Authority is confronting in passing proposals it feels could advance the pension industry in the country. Contributors who lose or change jobs will now be able to access half of the employer's remittances after the National Assembly annulled against RBA's advice a legal amendment which limited access attainment to 50 years. The RBA has previously failed in its push for the implementation of the NSSF Act of 2013, which provides for the scaling up of monthly remittances to the National Social Security Fund. The act which was enacted some time ago, but which has never been implemented uh, due to court challenges, I think uh, it was a move in the right direction. It was increasing the contribution rates to not very high levels, uh, but you know, levels which will give a more meaningful benefit. So I really urge uh, the players, uh, you know, the employers, the unions, the government to try to unlock that bill so that uh, uh, those who are NSF can at least contribute something more meaningful.